Hello, American Patriots. I'd like to take a moment to address all my subscribers to my YouTube channel here. Uh, most of you have gotten accustomed to me putting out three, four, sometimes five videos every week. And that's going to slow down drastically over the at least next seven, eight, possibly ten days. Um, and I just wanted to let everybody know what's going on and why. Uh, I have a friend of mine that I've known for 38 years. And he is at the final stages of his life. Uh, losing his battle with cancer, uh, cancer that was brought upon by his time in the service when he was stationed at Camp Lejeune. Uh, those of you may or may not have heard about the contaminated water system they had there. And over a period of time, all the vets that were stationed there and family members and even civilians, uh, most of them come down with different forms of cancer because of it. Uh, so I'm going to be leaving in the morning and driving from Louisiana up to Atlanta, Georgia, where, he's, where he lives, um, and spend the remainder of his life with him and his wife and his child and other family members that are arriving as well. And then we'll have a, a service there for him. And then I'll be off to Ohio where we will bury him for his final resting. Uh, it's been a very difficult 12, 18 hours, not to mention it's been difficult dealing with knowing that this, this day was coming and I was going to lose my friend. Um, I'd, what I'd like to say is, uh, you know, we've, we've failed our veterans. We, we have failed our, our veterans so bad. My whole reason for founding Veterans United for Justice was to help vets and give back and pick up where the government left off. Those that served in Vietnam, like my friend, uh, not only were they not welcomed home by the public, but the government failed them in so many ways. The government knew about the water contamination at Camp Lejeune, and they knew that this caused cancer, just like they knew about Agent Orange. and how vets were suffering and dying of cancer from that as well. And even with the Gulf War, the first Gulf War, Desert Storm, uh, Gulf War Syndrome, you know, they, they've known for a long, long time. But yet, when a veteran comes back from serving their country, they have to fight another battle. And that battle is fighting for their basic rights that were promised to them. You know, we made a promise to our vets that when they come back from battle, we would take care of them. Well, in my friend's situation, uh, the VA literally over the past few years has, has screwed him and his family every which way they possibly could. And I, I got involved in, uh, I, I helped the best I could, along with other veteran advocates. And uh, I am happy to say that in just the last probably three weeks, we've managed to get him rated at 100% uh, permanent and total disability. Although he's been 100% for a couple of years now slowly but surely losing this battle. And even with their own VA doctors writing letters and saying that there's no recovery from this. 
and after all the different things that were tried and, and radiation and chemo and uh, even a bone marrow transplant and nothing worked, the VA was refusing to rate him as permanent and total because in their ultimate wisdom, you know, you might be able to beat this. Even as he was bedridden and being taken care of 24 seven. Uh, he is just one of literally thousands of veterans across our nation that our government has let down. So I continue fighting this fight uh, in hopes that I can make a difference. You know, I, I say often if it, you know, if it wasn't, it, if the government just did what they promised they would do, there'd be no reason for my organization or the VFW or American Legion or AMVETS or Wounded Warrior Project. Why, why do you think they exist? Why do you think all these veterans organizations exist? They exist because the government isn't doing the job. And, and they haven't for a long time. A lot of things have improved in the VA through the years, yes. But the uh, just the basics, like ratings, are so screwed up. And the incompetence of some of the employees and having to constantly submit and resubmit paperwork for years. The process is very, very hard. Anyhow, uh, I will, uh, I'll be, like I say, I'll be hitting the road first thing in the morning and driving up there. Uh, I'm going to drive instead of fly because, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to be there before I have to go to Ohio. Uh, and it's comes out cheaper anyhow than having the pay for airfare plus car rentals and whatnot. I, I will try and do uh, a video or two while I'm out on the road, depending on uh, how I'm feeling. But uh, I don't see that happening right now. Uh, I'm pretty... I'm... Uh, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's not easy. I've lost a lot. <laughs> Good God, I've lost a lot of friends. I've lost a lot of brothers and sisters that I personally serve with in combat situations that I serve with and in peacetime. And I've lost a lot of friends that I grew up with. One would think those that know me that I should be used to this by now, but it, it never gets easy. Uh, so anyhow, I just wanted to get that out there. You know, it's the reason why I, uh, some of you are going to wonder what happened to me. <laughs> you know, did, did YouTube rub me off or did I get banned or whatnot? But that's that's not what's happening. I just wanted to be honest and uh, straight up and let everybody know that uh, I'm on a mission to say goodbye to a very, very dear friend. And for those of you that believe in the power of prayer, uh, I ask that you Say a prayer for them, uh, his family, as well as all of our, our veterans that are suffering across this nation. That's all I got for now. Uh, Thanksgiving is in two days. <clears throat> uh, my family will stay here and 
and uh, have their their Thanksgiving. I don't, I don't need them to go with me to do this. It's something that I need to do on my own. And uh, I hope that each of you have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving and that you really think about what you have in your life and how blessed you are for the good things. Uh, as always, please say a prayer for our, our men and women serving the United States military, our veterans, our law enforcement officers, our first responders, our president, our country, and for all those that are that are suffering tonight all over the world. Hope you all have a wonderful and happy and blessed Thanksgiving. For now, I'm Douglas Ducote, and I'll be back, guys. Take care. I'm out.